Maajung adlaw sa tanan. In this video, I'm going to discuss a lesson in the mathematics in the modern world under the topic apportionment and voting. This is all about the Hamilton's plan of apportionment. Now, this method was proposed by Alexander Hamilton and was one of the two competing plans of apportionment in 1790. The steps are very easy to follow and I'm very confident that you will be able to follow them as demonstrated. So now, what are the steps of the Hamilton's plan of apportionment? So the first step is to compute the standard divisor using this formula. Standard divisor equals the total population divided by the number of people to apportion. The second step is to divide the population of each state by the standard divisor to obtain the quotient. So, the quotient equals population of a state divided by the standard divisor. Now, the third step is to round the quotient down to a whole number to obtain the standard quota. And lastly, we need to evaluate our answer. So, let's take note that if the number of representatives obtained does not sum up to what is desired, then we will assign additional representatives based on the largest decimal remainders of the quotient. So let's take this situation as our example for you to understand how the steps work. Your NSTP advisor asks you to assign your 15 classmates to help him distribute food packs to the families of the five towns of Bohol, whose houses have been totally damaged by the Typhoon Odette. The number of families to be given are shown in the table. So we have here in the table the names of the towns with their corresponding number of families to be distributed with the food packs. And the total, fam na total number of families is... 1,000. Now, if you are in this situation, how are you going to assign your classmates? So, let's follow the Hamilton's plan of apportionment to solve this problem. So, again, the first step is to compute the standard divisor using the formula standard divisor equals the total population divided by the number of people to apportion. So in this context, let's divide the total number of families by the number of classmates to be apportioned. Remember that the total number of families is 1,000 and the number of your classmates to be apportioned is 15. So we have here 1,000 divided by 15 and that's approximately 66.5. 67. So this is the number of families represented by each student, meaning for every student, there should be approximately 66.67 families to be distributed with food packs. Now, the second step is to divide the number of families of each town by the standard divisor to obtain the quotient. So let's use the standard divisor that we have just computed in step 1 to divide the number of families in each town. In Albor, we have 172 divided by 66.67. It's approximately 2.580 or simply 2.58. So let's limit our answer to three decimal places only for convenience. In Baklayon, we have 243 or 243 divided by 66.67. It's approximately 3.645. Try to compute with me using your calculators. Now in Dawis, we have 145 divided by 66.67. It's approximately 2.175. And in Luon, we have 203 divided by 66.67. It's approximately 3.045. And lastly, in Maribuhok, we have 237 divided by 66.67. It's approximately 3.555. 
Again, we are limiting our quotients to three decimal places only for convenience. Now, the next step is to round the quotient down to a whole number to obtain the standard quota. In rounding down, let's disregard the fractional part. So let's simply copy the whole number. So we have here in Albor, we have a quotient of approximately 2.580 or simply 2.58. So its standard quota will be 2. So we are only copying the whole number. So again, we disregard the fractional part. In Baklayon, its quotient is approximately 3.645. So its standard quota is 3. Now, in Dawis, we have 2. While in Loon, we have 3. And in Maribohok, we have three as well. Now, what is the sum of the standard quotas? Two plus three plus two plus three plus three, that's 13, right? However, based on the given problem, you have to apportion your 15 classmates. So we still need to assign your two classmates, right? Now, this time, Let's proceed to the last step, which is to evaluate your answer. So we will be evaluating our answer in this step. According to Hamilton's plan of apportionment, we have to assign additional representatives based on the largest decimal remainder. So from the quotients, so in this column, from the quotients, we need to look the top two largest decimal remainders. So we have here the Baklayon and in Albor. So in Baklayon we have 0.645 while in Albor we have 0.580. So these towns have the largest decimal remainders, the top two largest decimal remainders. So let's add one representative or classmate in Albor and another one representative in Baklayon. So the number of representatives in Albor becomes three, whereas the number of representatives in Baklayon becomes four. And let's simply copy the number of representatives in Dawis, Loon, and Maripuho, since we only lack two representatives or classmates to be apportioned. So let's add the number of representatives and we get 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3, that's 15, which is also the desired number of classmates to be apportioned. So that's just it. That is how to apportion using the Hamilton's plan of apportionment.